And welcome back inside the Atwood Gymnasium. Your score at halftime, Lions 37, Clyde 24. It's a Bill Cram Chevrolet halftime report. And I'm joined here in the broadcast booth with a pair of basketball players who are familiar with the Clyde Lions rivalry. Uh, to my right, I have Caitlin McDonald. She's a sophomore at Lions. Last night, Lions uh, defeated, if I just grab this, defeated uh, Clyde 60 to 56. Was that game over in Clyde? Yeah. And then to my left, I have Taylor Sharp, senior at Clyde. And Taylor, congratulations. Last night, you scored your 1,000th career point. Thank you. Um, what do you think about 1,000 points? Did you ever think that you'd score 1,000 points? Well, I'd hope so. I worked hard for it. That was something that you had on your radar heading into this yeah. year? Yeah. Yeah, well, you did it pretty early. You have more points to go. Mm -hmm. So, um, congratulations. That's a Thank great you. accomplishment. And uh, Caitlin is a sophomore, you know, maybe get to 1,000 over the next couple of years? I hope so. So, tell me a little bit about the game last night. 60 to 56. It sounds like a great game. Your program is on the rise. The, yeah. uh, throughout your career, I think every year you've gotten a little bit better. Yeah. And, um, and Lions, the past couple of years, has been outstanding. And so, to me, both these programs are on the rise. You both have a shot at sectionals this year. So tell me a little bit about how the game went last night, Caitlin. So we ended up in overtime. It was back and forth the whole game, up, down. Um, we played, we bo both teams played hard. And did it, was there any uh, shots at the end of regulation to tie it or any missed shots that, that could have won it? Free throws. Free throws, we lost, huh? We missed 19. 19 free throws, yeah. wow, and so it obviously in a four point overtime loss, yeah. you just need a couple more of those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Newark found that out, the Newark boys last night, they beat Pelmac, but they were 12 of 31 from the free throw line, so they call them free throws for a reason, right? Yeah. So, um, Caitlin, tell me a little bit about your, your team. Coach Bassett, uh, talk about some of the girls on your team. I've just been impressed with uh, the improvement over the past couple of years of the Lions girls team. Yeah, we're young, small. Um, we're, coach likes to say, a third quarter team. Mm -hmm. We don't start playing to our potential until later in the game. A lot of op missed open layups. We're, we're a strong team. I believe we could do much better. So, Caitlin Crago, Kating. Uh, Blaisdale, mm -hmm. Latavia. Um, who else? Amani Harder. Yep, yeah, that's another name we see a lot. So uh, it's, it's a good group and you've been together for, for some time now. Yeah, we played together for a while. Um, now, same thing with Clyde. Like, you know, I think this year is certainly a breakthrough year. Now you got yeah. a youngster on your team who's really been making a difference, right? Jada Larson. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Jada, what did she have last she night? 29. 29 points yeah. and she's a freshman, yeah. is that right? They're all freshmen pretty much. And then you, you're the uh, elder statesman, right? Yeah. Um, so as a senior, do you have any plans next year? I'm not sure yet. I plan to go to college. Mm -hmm. I don't know where yet. Uh, any interest in any athletics or, uh, or profession? Yeah. Uh, uh, there's a few that want me for basketball, one for track. Okay. And uh, what about is a course of study? And what nursing. do you want? Nursing? Yep. Okay, that's pretty cool. You thought about what you want to do after high school? Yeah. I want to go to UNLV. UNLV? Yeah. Running Rebels? Yep. And nursing or criminal justice. Oh, wow. Well, you most sophomores don't have such a clear... Uh, idea of what they want to do at yeah. this age so congratulations to you Thank um you. so you know we gotta probably step aside for a commercial before we come back with the second half want to thank both you girls for stopping over and uh, congratulations on the great season you guys are having before we go real quick uh give tell me who the best player that you face in wayne county is he is he wilbur, is he wilbur? Yeah. Is he wilbur? well I, I figured that might be the yeah. answer we'll there but tomorrow night tomorrow night in red creek or, or here here in, here in the atwood mm -hmm. well good luck Thank you. Um, they're in first place right now. So, if, um, But you guys, I think, are in second place. We moved up? I think so. That's good. So, um, well, girls, again, thanks. C Taylor, congratulations. Thank you. A thousand. Kevin Sharp is your uncle? Yep. Wow. So that must be where you get all those skills <laughs> from. Uh, Kevin Sharp, right? Yeah. Uh, um, Caitlin, thank you. Congratulations thank you. the rest of the way. So we'll step aside. Rhett Taconi will be with me when we get back on the other side. Uh, second half action straight ahead from the Atwood here on FingerLakes1.com.